Number one, you are late again, Mr. Buck. My car wouldn't start and I had to take the bus. Try to be on time tomorrow, won't you? Number two, has it stopped raining? No, it will stop until Monday. No one will come to our picnics then. Number three, did you finish the memo? It's on your desk. Thanks for staying late. I really appreciate it. Number four, it's five after five. We have to leave in ten minutes. That's not enough time to finish writing this letter. Let's just mail it tomorrow then. Number five, my pen is soured ink, so I can't sign this memo. Here, use my pencil. No, it has to be signed in ink. Number six, can you read the letter for me? Did you forget your glasses? Yes, then I can't see a thing. Number seven, the roads are covered with snow. I'm glad I'm not driving. They'll probably have to close the highways. We'll smart to take the train in that weather. Number eight, the car will start. I think we are out of gas. I told you to fill it up. Now we have a long walk. Maybe we can catch a bus from here. Nine, I tried to call you earlier, but your line was busy. Yes, I've been on the phone with the doctor. I hope you're not sick. Number ten, I'm going to buy some new shoes. These hurt my toe. You should buy wider shoes then. Yes, these shoes are too narrow. Number eleven, could you make these copies before noon, please? I'm sorry, I can't. The copier is broken, and the repair person can come until tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's too late. Number twelve, we took Mr. Lee to that new restaurant last night. Oh, that's right. It was Mr. Lee's birthday dinner, wasn't it? Yes, that restaurant is a great place for birthday. And it isn't expensive either. Number 13. I'm sorry Celia didn't join us for lunch. I wanted you to meet her. Why didn't she come? Wasn't she hungry? She was too busy at work. She just ate a sandwich at her desk. Number 14. I took my new suit back to the store. Why did you do that? I like this. It fits you very well. I didn't like the color. I strained it for the darker one. Number 15. Did you hear that Jack has a raise? Really? He hasn't been working here very long. I know he's hard worker. He deserves to earn more money.